Hey folks, Matt from RightOfTheImage.com. We've got some exciting news in the world of SD cards. And some of you might be thinking, oh, well, what's exciting about that? Well, we got some new classifications, some new speed coming for SD cards. And um, I used to be an anti-SD guy. I used to, back when Compact Flash was all the rage, I was one of those people that said, oh, I'll never want the small ones. They're too small. I'll drop them, blah, blah, blah. Um, but now I've really switched 180. I love SDs. I don't want compact flash. Don't even want the CFast and things like this. And SDs are advancing, especially with this new designations and these new cards, so that we're going to get the speeds we need out of SD. And I think it negates the need in, in a large extent for CFast. Um, let's have a look here. We've got the, um, the new designations are the V designations. So a little easier to understand instead of knowing you needed to know the speed class and then the UHS speed class. So, you know, before you, kn you knew that you had a C10 U3 card would be 30 megabytes a second. Well, now all you need to know is that your card, uh, what the V, the video speed class designation is. So, you know, where before it was a class 10 U3, it's now a V30. And you know that that's 30 megabytes a second. A V60 is 60 megabytes a second. A V90, and a very impressive 90 megabytes a second. This new designation also brings with it um, an addressing of and a fixing of some issues with previous standards. So we're getting you know some tech advancement here um, to do with the architecture of the way SD cards and the uh, memory works on these. They've 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 changed the way it writes to the card and the way it accesses it. So essentially what we're doing is we're getting a faster card here and you know just essentially new tech that's faster. So we're gonna get faster speeds. You know These are designed so you're not getting lag, so that they're designed to work with 4K, 6K, 8K uh, video, which is, you know, that's a welcome thing. So I don't know about you, but to me this is exciting because I'm looking forward to getting some of these new designated cards, these new V cards. I'd like to try a V90 and see what the difference is. But it's also nice because you don't have to go trying to eyeball the C10, U3, is it a U1? You'll just know, hey, this is a V90 card. It's a V30 card. It's a V60 card. So it just makes things easier and it's bringing better tech, more advancements in tech to us so that, you know, when I say again what my opinion's been lately is I'd like a pair of SD slots on a camera um, and that's all I think you need for 4K. Well, here we've got the new V cards. You can put two V90s in there and you should be fine for any camera with uh, 4K. So um, anyways, what do you guys think? Are you excited about the new SD designations and the new availability of the new tech? I mean, I think it's a positive all around. Uh, it also means we'll probably be able to get some deals on if you guys want to look at what cards will be going on sale that are the best with the older designations. Look for deals on the class 10 U3 cards. Those are your 30 megabytes a second cards. And um, those were previously, you know, some of your fastest cards. So look and see. Those are still very good cards. And look and see what kind of deals we can get. I'll see. Maybe I'll put a link below if, if, uh, if there's any cards I noticed that are on for a good deal right now. I'll have a look and see. Um, but leave some feedback. Let me know what you think about the new designations. Um, do you agree with me that uh, SD cards and faster and better ones are all we need? Or are you a CFast card fan? Let's have a little chat about that maybe. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.